Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got a special one-off video today, looking at how David Moyes is going to do in charge of my football club, West Ham United. You can see the badge on me brand new hoodie. Yeah, David Moyes in charge of the club once again. He's taken over from Manuel Pellegrini. What the board is thinking, I don't know. I am not happy about it. I am really hoping this experiment is going to prove me wrong. Because with Moyes in charge, I can only see doom and gloom and failure and getting relegated down to the Northern Premier League and all that sort of horrible bad stuff. And so, let's see why I feel like that about David Moyes. Let's have a look at his attributes. He's got 10 for man management, 10 for motivating, 13 and 14 respectively for judging ability and potential, only 12 for tactical knowledge, but even worse than that, he's got 9 for attacking coaching, 10 for fitness, 10 for technical. The only thing he's any good at is defending. And so, let's hope that can help us. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through three seasons. We're going to stop at the end of season one, season two, season three. Have a look at the transfers. Obviously where we finish in the league, in the cups and all that sort of good stuff. And let's see if we can finish through the three years. If he lasts that long, I'll be quite surprised to be honest. And so he's joined the club in game on a £41,000 a week contract. It's only a one year deal at the minute. So this could be a short experiment. You never know. And so let's just have a look at his history, where he's been before. I'm sure you all know it, but let's just get it shown to you. He's been obviously at Everton, that's where he made his name mainly. Went to United, cocked that up quite a bit. Went to Real Sociedad, didn't do anything there. Sunderland, same again. And then he came to us the first time. And this is his win record that he had for his six months or so in charge of the club. He played 31 games, won only 9, drew 10, lost 12. Giving him a win percentage of 29.03%. That is an awful record. Why the board are bringing him back, I really, really don't know. I really am hoping this experiment proves me wrong. And so, you know what, guys? I'll be back with you in just a second when we're at the end of the first season. See you there. All right, guys, we're back. And we're actually in pre-season of season two. So let's go and have a look. Where is David Moyes? Is he in a job? No. Oh. Okay. That's a little bit surprising. This experiment is not going to be as long as what I thought. Okay. Well, let's have a look and see when that exactly happened. And that happened on the 7th of December. Oh. Okay, and you can see there, his only, his only main signing was Nemanja Matic from Manchester United. And then, yeah, let's go and have a look at the schedule and see how he got on. The season started off badly for David Moyes with two defeats versus Leicester City and Manchester City. Two teams who you might expect us to lose to. But then we did turn it around with a win versus Norwich City. Albion Ajeti, a player we've not seen too much of in real life, getting a couple of goals for us there. And then we did get a penalty victory versus QPR. Slightly disappointing to only beat QPR on penalties. But we got the win, we got through. I suppose that's the main thing. But then look at that for September. One, two, three, four league games. We won none, drew two, scored zero in the league. And our only goal of the month came against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. 
And so that shows David Moyes' attacking attribute that I was just on about. That shows how bad that is and what an awful month that is. Let's move on very quickly to October, which again did start badly. 2-0 defeat to Bournemouth, managed by the man who I would love to get in charge of the club, Eddie Howe. So a decent victory for his team. But then we finally remembered how to score goals in the league. We got one versus Newcastle to get us a win. And then we scored two versus Sheffield United. Nemanja Matic, the only signing under David Moyes, getting a goal there, along with Fabian Balbuena. And then November was a very 50-50 month. We beat Tottenham, lost to Arsenal, be Everton lost to Burnley so very back and forth there really a lot of inconsistency but Tottenham getting a win against them is always nice and Sebastian Haller and Declan Rice getting us to goals versus Everton and then how did we get on in December we lost to Brighton 3-0 that maybe should have been when David Moyes got sacked I think, but he did manage to last one more game and he was sacked after losing to Liverpool, which judging by how Liverpool are doing in real life is very, very disappointing to get sacked then. But he did lose nine times up until then in the league. So I suppose the board didn't really have too much of a choice. So, yep, that is how David Moyes did for West Ham United. He lasted barely three, four months into the season before getting the old tin tack. Let's have a look at how his one signing did. Nemanja Matic, over the course of the whole season, finished up with just that one goal and an average rating of 6.81. So, waste of money, you've got to say. That's not anything that anybody else couldn't have done for us. So that is a waste of £11 million there. And so let's have a look at how Bielsa's done. Because it is Marcelo Bielsa who took over from him. So let's see how he did after that. And you can see it straight away. We went five games unbeaten in the league. When did Bielsa actually take over? On the 19th of the 12th. Okay, so let's see how Bielsa did once he took over. And he took over two days before the Chelsea game. And you can see there, first four games, all wins. Then we drew with Watford in the FA Cup and beat Palace in the league. So that's his first seven games he's gone unbeaten. A little bit of a transformation from David Moyes. But then after that, we did go on a little bit of a dodgy run. Losing to Watford, like I say, in the Cup. Drawing with Newcastle. Losing to Southampton. And only getting the one win in February. This time getting revenge on Leicester City. And in fact, that was one of our last victories of the season. In fact, our penultimate, our penultimate victory of the season our last one coming against Norwich in May. So in fact, under Bielsa, we went two whole months without getting a win. So not that much better. So all that meant that we ended up finishing 13th. That's a little bit of a surprise. I was not expecting us to have finished that high, having gone, what, two whole months towards the end of the season without a win. And so ended up on 45 points, 12 points clear of relegation. Bielsa definitely came in and saved us. But, yep, that is where we're going to leave it as far as the David Moyes experiment. Can't believe he only lasted six months. So, David Gold, Sullivan, Jack Sullivan, Karen Brady, anybody, if you're watching this from the club, please take notice. Please don't employ David Moyes. It's only going to go wrong and we're going to end up hiring a mad Argentinian to try and save us. 
a mad Argentinian. Whoever had that idea of putting one of them in charge of West Ham? Uh, check out my Pro Evo series to know what I'm on about. Check that out. And so, like I say, that's where we're going to leave it. If you've enjoyed that video, put a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content. My Kings Lynn series should be back tomorrow afternoon, so please do check that out. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming, and as well as that, check out the Passion for FM website. It's going to be over there. Check out the website, the Discord, the Twitter, the Facebook, all that good stuff, and all the other Passion for FM content creators. All their details are down below in the information. And so, yep guys, that is a very short experiment. I shall see you tomorrow for the Kingsland save. Goodbye!